decimal places and like and unlike decimals. Let's first see about decimal places. Now, if we divide 100, or let's not take 100, that's an easy take. Let's say we divide 121 by 1000, right? So whenever we do that, we will what will we get? We'll get the answer as 0 0.121, right? So because there are three zeros, as I had discussed, after this point, after the decimal point, there will be three digits. So when I write down all these three digits out here, I get the solution. If this would have been, let's say for example, 12 upon 1000, then I would have got 0 0.012. This number is supposed to come 12 as it is. Then you increase this to the number of zeros such that, you know, you get three digits after the decimal point. By decimal places, what we mean is the number of digits after the point, actually point in the decimal point, is called decimal Places. So let's say for example if you had 3.6982 or you had 4.12347 or you had let's say for example 3.12 then the number of decimal places in each one of them is basically the number of digits after the decimal point. So after the decimal point how many digits do we have in this? 1, 2, 3, 4. Hence there are four decimal places in this number. Okay. How many decimal places do we have in the second one? One, two, three, four, five. Let's talk about the third one. One, two. Right. Okay. Let's move on to the like and unlike decimal places. Okay. So basically, first let's look at like decimals. Let's consider three number. Actually four of them. Now let's find out how many decimal places do we have in each one of them? So in this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now what we mean by like decimal is that if in any two decimals the number of decimal places is equal. Okay. So let's say you have an equal number of decimal places in first and second, 2.6834 and 2.9321, both have four decimal places each. So we say that decimal 1 and decimal 2 are like decimals. Whereas if you see, this has three places and this has four. This has three, this has four. This has three, this has five. So the decimals in which the number of decimal places are different are called as unlike decimals. Okay. Now we can convert any decimal which is unlike, let's say for example this one, into a like decimal. So let's say you have these two decimals 3.614 and 2.9321. Right? So if someone were to ask you, can you convert these two decimals to unlike decimals into like decimals? Can you do that? How do you do that? Now that's very simple. You know, for this, 
I need to tell you one rule. The rule says that if at the end of any digit in a decimal you annex a zero, that per se does not result in any change in the value of this number. So whether you add one zero, two, three, four, five, six, whatever be the number of zeros which you add over here, that is not going to change the value of this number. So in cases like this where you are told that you have to convert an unlike decimal into a like decimal, you count the number of decimal places in each one of the two decimals. Let's say you have three here and you have four here. In the one which has lesser number of decimal places, add as many zeros so as to make the number of decimal places of this equal to the decimal places of the next one. So let's say it was 3 here, I added one more zero here, so this became 4. So effectively, now both of them have 4 decimal places each, and therefore they are like decimals.